Today we're going to have a go at ringing and leading um, and also then following the last bell down and this will be a different bell each time. So we're going to do it in two halves. First of all we're going to do um, the rope sight version which is uh, we're going to look at the other bells and see which is the last one down and we're also going to then do a bit of rhythmic practice as well and ring the treble taking care that we do the hand stroke open hand stroke gap lead as well so we'll do them separately so that you can really concentrate on each aspect rather than trying to do everything at once so first of all we're going to start with um, fewer bells than normal we're going to start with four bells um, and for this method that i'm going to show you it won't be on a bell you won't be able to select for it so we have to create it so if you just follow these instructions and step by step i'm sure you'll be able to get it so i've got it on four bells you click the open file at the top double click on four bell and then up come four bells and then you've got a list of methods down the left hand side the method we're going to ring is called cheeky little place and as you can see it's not on here so what we have to do is go up to edit click add method and there are lots and lots of methods in able but just not quickly to hand on the left hand side so what we have to do is get them from the micro SIRIL library so we click on this box and then you get a box which tells you all the different types of methods for different numbers of bells so for instance we've got plain major that means that um, this will be on eight bells and the treble will be plain hunting so we go right up to the top this is the first option that we have which is called plain minimus so we click on this we click on ok and then we start to type in the method name um, so just start typing in cheeky and as you can see it's filled in the rest of it cheeky little place so we don't have to do anything else we don't have to write any more words just click OK it fills in the method name the number of bells and then this notation you don't have to worry about what that means but then you click add finish and then cheeky little place should occur on the left hand side it does cheeky little place minimus it's the le it's the second second method down for me. So we double click on that, and then it appears in the grey box. So what cheeky little place does is it moves bells. Hang on, double click on four to make it in the right order. So it makes the treble stay where it is. It always the treble is always ringing in first place. Then the second, the third, and the fourth are basically plain hunting. So it means that the treble is then having practice at leading, but leading off a different bell. And this is really, really useful for when you need to plain hunt um, uh, minor um, or any even number of bells, because the bell that you'll be leading off will be different. It won't necessarily be the tenor. So we're going to start it off. I'll put the peel time as four again. OK, and we're going to just watch. And we're going to just concentrate on re seeing which is the last bell down. It's going to be either two, three or four each time. So it gives you a good um, choice. You've not got loads and loads of bells. You've only got three bells to watch. So we click start at the bottom and then we click go. Go. Next time. So see which is the last bell down. And it goes around again, so it's already gone to round. So it will carry on until you can stop at the top. Just to recap, if um, if yours does not carry on, what you could do is you go to ringing and you untick the option stop at rounds. So that's really, really good for learning to see the last bell down. And if you can do that loads and loads, you start then being able to develop that subconsciously and you'll then be able to concentrate on ringing.
Next, we're going to have a go at ringing with that hand stroke gap. So we're going to go to the ringing. We're going to turn off the user start spell movement and we're going to ring the treble. So it doesn't really matter which order two, three and four bells are, are in because we're going to use, we're just going to listen and basically count. So we're going to keep it at four hours at the moment and then we'll speed it up if we need to, um, if, you, if you find that's okay. So I'm going to single click on bell number one because that's the one we want to ring. Then we double click on bell number four to put it back into the right order. Just check by pressing the letter R. We've got the correct bell ringing there. Right, we're going to press start and then we're going to press So we have to put in. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're happy with that, you can start the method. Here's the method. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So, if it helps, do shout out the numbers and say gap in between the open hand stroke gap if you need to, then you can start speeding it up. So you then convert it to three hours. Eventually you can get to three hours 15. And again, it's really important that you leave that hand stroke gap. So here we go. Go, next time. So with Abel, it's really, 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 really useful to be able to do rhythmic practice and also to do rope site practice as well.